Hi, I'm Veronica. I'm the digital creator for Just Styling with Veronica. If you enjoy fashion, home decor, and lifestyle content, well, this is your place. In today's video, what I'm going to be doing is restyling this baker's rack, which is in my kitchen area. So let's get started designing. Okay, so what I'm going to do is start by with this piece here. Tip one, you always want to have a focal point. A focal point helps you and guides you through your designing process. So this was my focal point. I love the color. I love the wooding in it. I just love this color of it and I love the shape of it and I love the detailing in it. And uh, so let's get started. We're going to get, get it going. So I'm going to start by putting this up here and I'm going to use an easel so it is stay level it up where it stand on its own. Or this easel will help it stand on its own because it can, but it would not stay uh, in the position that I would want it to be in. So that is why I am using an easel. So the next thing we're going to place up here. I'm gonna place this right here. And as you notice, I have the uh, eye design in uh, neutral colors. I love those type of colors. And I'm going, you're gonna see how all this is gonna come together. So I have some grays and I have some neutral colors into that. So I also am gonna put this block in here. I love this block. It has inspirational and uh, scriptures in it as well and quotes. I love that as well. So I'm gonna put it right here. I don't wanna put it up here. I wanna put it just like this. And have a list slant in it. And I'm also going to incorporate this clock. I love uh, designing with different elements, different texture, also different shapes and style because that also brings out your design. That's a good, uh, that's a tip number two. You want to also incorporate different elements, different uh, shapes into your design because it brings it all out together. It gives it a different look. And I'm bringing in this pig here. I love this. I love the saying of it. Friends and family are welcome. That is super cute. I love that. And I'm going to give that a little slant as well. And bring it up like that. You don't want it too close to the edge. You just want it there enough to where people can see it. And I have this galvanized jar and I have pumpkins in here. This is year round pumpkins. They are gray and they have neutral colors in it. And I love that. It's gonna work out great. As you can see, I'm bringing in different texture again to bring out the design. And I have a picture here. I'm loving this, it's gray. I've stuffed paper in it. Reason being, I'm going to put a flower in there that will give it uh, give it some level and level it up a little bit. And also it's green. Key point, you always want to incorporate green into your design because it brings it out. It gives the color, give more flair to it. So you want that as well. I think that is super cute. I have two. So I'm bringing up the other one as well. And I'm gonna turn the handles out just ever so gently. And I'm bring up another galvanized jar as well. And I'm gonna turn the grays in. You see how all of that is incorporated? Again, another tip. You notice how I'm designing into threes. Threes is uh, user friendly and it brings out your design. It's, it's very good, uh, pleasing to your eyes when you look at any style, any creation that you do. You put it in threes, it's gonna just, everything just balance out as you can see. 
And then you also want to always look at your design from the side because that way in your peripheral vision, you can see how it looks and how it's designing if things are in the middle like it should be. And also you want to look at it from the front. That way you can get a good eye view as well. So <clears throat> we got one more uh, place on this baker's rack to design, which is the bottom portion. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to lower the camera just a little bit so you can get a view of the lower portion of it right here. I love designing with pillows. Pillows is one of my go-tos in designing. If you want to use something that's cost-effective, pillows are a way to go. It will also, it's a filler as well into a design. If you need to fill in a spot, you can get a cute pillow and that will work well. Now, with, uh, with doing that, I would suggest get pillow covers as well. To just change out your just cover your pillow up that way you won't be overloaded with a lot of pillows and it's cost effective so you're going to put it in just like that and you're going to put a little slant on that as well Now, if you want your pillows up like that, that's your uh, choice. It's whatever you decide to do with it. It'll be great. And I'm going to put this here just to use it for a prop for this galvanized tray that I have. And I love the saying on it. I created this uh, saying on here, not this, the wording, I, I place it on the tray. Uh, today I choose joy. I love that, that's Psalms 30 verse five. I love that. And I'm just going to place it here. That way when your, your, your family, friends, or Whomever comes to visit you, you have sands up here for them to see. It really brightens people day when you have things like that. Well, I know it brightens up mine. So I want to thank you guys for uh, coming in today. If you love content like this, this is your space. So click the subscribe button and I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.